Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to another Monster Super League video. What we're going to be doing today is, I actually have a little bit of gold, and we're going to be upgrading some gems. And, yeah, this is basically just um, some gem upgrade, some gemgasm action. Um, you know, I've been I've been kind of focusing a little bit on arena. I kind of want to put, put like a good defense team. Um... I've been theory crafting. I thought like you know I was used, since I was using like one water, one wood monster, I should use like a hidden water monster. But then again, if I show my defense team on video, then everybody knows my defense team. So I'm not I'm not exactly sure. Maybe I need like an evil three water purse and then just put the water purse on defense as well. But I can't feed my fire purse away because fire purse is too good. I need her for farming gold in speed ten. So I'll, I'll need to like either pull another purse or. Um, I was thinking if I had a water Arthur, it'd actually be perfect. I would just hide that water Arthur, and then they would be like, "All right, we're 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 done with that, you know, pugilist bullshit." And then boom, another water Arthur comes out, and he's also on pugilist set. He just starts spamming like mad, and uh, and they they GG give up. So, yeah, I was I was actually pl thinking of you know you know improving my defense team, but I think it's pretty good for now. I mean, I I get to heroes one, so I. I don't really think it's much of a challenge. I just want to get a better defense team so I can do spend less time doing um, arena fights and more time actually farming. So uh, the other, so I guess we're just gonna power up some some gems. I remember this gem. Uh, wait, no, it wasn't this one. It was this one. This was the one I needed you guys to hold my hand while powering up. So so I, I need you guys to hold my hand again. We're gonna we're gonna keep going, and this this gem is currently at plus seven, but we're gonna take this to plus twelve and see what substats um, it actually gets. All right, so please, please, please hold my hand. I can't. I'll I'll, I'll keep my hand up this whole entire time. Well, we get to plus twelve. No matter how sore it gets. Man, I gotta get I gotta get some like auto mouse clicker that just keeps clicking and then clicks non-stop at the power up. Wait, what? Oh shit, it's got 23% resist. Ooh. Oh shit. Shit, man. Uh duh. Well, I need I, I have to keep my hand up. I have to keep my hand up the whole entire time. It's the only way. We're doing this together. I think. I think that's the, the. It's it's the power. Tina. Tina cannot. Tina cannot stop us. You know. United, we are stronger. That's 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 basically it. I can't. I can never power up gems by myself. I need you guys to hold my hand while I power up these gems. All right, here we go, guys. Moment of truth. Uh, do I, don't. Would it be more awesome if it had like more resist, or would it be more awesome if it went w went one into crit rate? Holy shit! Holy fuck! What the fuck is going on? It's got it's got thirty one percent resist. Holy fuck! All right, this this gem is god tier. Like holy shit! I should. I don't think my nightmare needs it because nobody hits her anyways. Like if you armor break her or try to stun her, like I don't give a shit. I don't think I think just a little bit of resist on her would be fine. I don't really need to. I really need to stack too much. Um, I put some crit rate on her just to make her annoying. But this one, this one's like mostly HP resist. You know, this one's this one's a good tanky, nice and tanky gem. This one isn't really much. Uh, it's got defense and resist, so I thought it, it was pretty good. And this one is like crit rate defense, so I think it's like quite annoying as well. It's also got a little bit of attack. Ooh, ooh, that that gem is sick. That gem is sick. I should replace my Dark Sea Star gem with that one. I should replace this one with that one, and then I can put this on someone else. I mean, I can have a third hidden pugilist unit that has like no resist. And, um, just something that nobody's gonna hit, like a Water Arthur or something. I just need, I just need a Water Arthur to make my defense team perfect. Oh man, that gem is so sick. Holy shit, it's a, it's a pugilist gem as well. And it's got, like, HP and defense. It would've been sicker if it was a 4 substat gem and it went all into defense. I'd be, like, 40% 
on a single gem. Um, yeah, I just need my I just need my Jean to I need to get my Jean to evil three. Um, once I get her to evil three, I can put put a set on her to to actually make her pretty good. Hey, maybe a water succubus might be good as well. You know, I, I actually don't need a water earth. I just need a water succubus. But I fed my succubus away, and this is the only one I have now. I need to be able to put one on my uh, light suck. I can only spare. I can spare this HP defense set for her, but then she has no resist at all. And then I'm missing some triangle ones. Wait, are all my triangles attack? I think I fucked up. Wait, I think I only have triangles. Ooh, shit, that's not gonna work. Um, looks like I need to get another triangle gem. How many sigils do I have? Shit, I only have 41 this week. Okay, uh, we're gonna power up some more gems. That was that was really really nice. Super happy with that gem. We're gonna we're gonna try try again with another gem. Uh, we'll see. See what I can do. Oh yeah, I was I was curious what this gem would turn into because um, I actually picked it up yesterday. It's an attack gem with crit rate, crit damage. I was thinking what it would power up to. We'll we'll get this to like plus six and then see if it's good. If it's not, I might I might sell it. I'm not too sure. Actually no, it's a three subset gem with attack. Oh shit, it's got resist. Mm, this is like the best offensive gem. Please, I need your help, guys. I need I need some crit rate on this. It would be so sick if I could make a make like another uh, like make make a damage dealer monster with like triple attack. Ooh, what to resist? And like um, max crit or some shit like that. That would, that would be insane. It's nice for intuition gems to have two rolls into crit, or even three, because. Oh wait, no, you only need two rolls into crit. If you can get two rolls into crit, like, that puts you over 16 something percent. Damn, this is, this is, this is my ritual, alright? This is my ritual. I upgrade gems on video and I just hold my hand up like this. And you guys can hold my hand while I upgrade my gems. Oh shit, my hand's getting sore. I can't put it down. Oh shit! This is, the, this, is the, this is the resist ritual. This is the this is the roll on to resist ritual. You just just put your hand up. You gotta make a YouTube video. You know you gotta start your own YouTube channel, and then like tell tell all your viewers to um, hold your hand while you upgrade your gems. Ooh, my hand's getting sore. Can't handle it much longer. Please power up. Damn it! I just went to the gym today, like this morning. To just did shoulders day. Holy shit! My my shoulders are so damn sore. Come on, you can do it. This is the resist ritual. This is the ultimate resist ritual. Stop resisting, upgrade, and give me more resist. Ugh. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, man. Would it be okay if I use my other hand to support this hand? Or do I, do I have to keep this hand up here this whole entire time? Come on, you can do it. Tina, Tina, stop fucking me. Power up the damn gem. Damn it, Tina. I can't, must keep hand up. If I put it down, it's gonna go into the flat attack. I have to keep it up all the way until it gets to plus 12. Don't upgrade gems on shoulder day. Oh shit. Tina, what the fuck are you doing? This is a plus 12 gem, it's not plus 15. 
It shouldn't take 30 tries. All right, went to crit damage. We're, we're okay. This is a, this is a decent gem. It's not it's not too bad. Hmm. I kept this one because it's like a super super defensive gem. It's got flat attack, flat defense, flat HP. It's too bad this this isn't resistance, but I mean we can keep this on a super tank unit. I think it's it's not too bad. This one. This one's kind of shitty, to be honest. I should lock some gems. I should lock that one. This one I kept for the same reason, because it's like a super defensive gem. So I got Gem of Life with HP, defense percent, so I kept it, even though it had no resist. This one, I don't know what I was trying to do with this one. I was going to power it up to plus three and see if it spawns resist. This is a good trick. Like, if you get a three substat gem, um, you can power it up to plus three like a, on a convi conviction or something and see if it spawns something like resist if it spawns something shitty like attack like this then you can just uh... you can just sell it man this actually no this defense siphon gem is not too bad it's a it's a defense siphon gem and it all rolled into defense meaning that if you put this on a defense aggressor this little bit of extra defense is just going to be extra damage for you so it's like it's gonna be extra consistent damage, so it's actually pretty good. Um, and that's all you need on Siphon. You just need as much damage as, as humanly possible. So I think, I think this is a really good rule um, for a defense Siphon gem. Where did I keep this one? Because of the protection gem, it's actually not too good. I should probably sell it. This one has resist. This is an attack pugilist gem. Um, kind of has really shitty substats. I might actually, well, I'll keep it in order to maybe complete a pugilist set. But if I, if I don't need it, um, if I don't need it in the future, I can just sell it. What about this one, this one's a defense valor. So I, I basically I kept this gem um, in order to, to see if I can get, um, get some, get some crit rate. And then I can put this on a like a, if I want to build a nuker that's like on Valor with 100% crit, I can see if I can push the crit rate up to 100% with with this. Um, if I want to put like one slot defensive, so I, I basically cut that gem for that purpose. Um, but basically, it's I have to spawn a substat, and then on the next two rolls, I have to both roll into crit rate. And if it doesn't, then it just goes to shit. So it's actually a very very low chance. But I kept it to to try it out. It's a gem of leech. Um, it's not too good, but it's, it is a defense leech, so I, I basically kept it. This is also another defense leech. This one's actually slightly better. Has like HP, bit of crit damage, not too bad. A bit of attack, can't go wrong with attack. It's another crit rate valor. This one has resist and attack and HP, so I kept it. It's really good. Um, this one I kept because it's, it's a ruin with crit rate and it also has resist, but this is like a 50 50 gem. If it, I powered this up to plus three to spawn the crit rate, and then since it spawned crit rate, I kept the gem. And then this one, this one's just a crit rate ruin gem, so I kept it. This is a HP ruin gem with resist. I'm gonna actually power it up. If it gives me another shitty substat, I'm, I'm selling it. It's not, it's not useful. If it gives me crit, it's actually perfect. I might try this gem because it has resist. If it has like resist plus crit. Oh shit, why did I power it up again? Yeah, it has attack. It's kinda shitty. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to sell it. Um This one's another four subset gem, but it has resist. It's on a ruin set, it's actually not too good. I can do a plus three, plus six power up and then see if it goes into resist. If it if it can roll into resist a few times, because it is it is a four substat gem, it's basically gonna be for a broken set. Basically, if this plus three doesn't go into resist, I'm selling it. All right, you're 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 gone. Sad man, sad. Uh. Yeah, this is like gem cleanup. It's my version of gem cleanup. Alright, this is another, yeah, this is protection, has resist, so I, I kept it. This one has resist. This one, I have no idea why I kept. Why the heck did I keep this gem? 
It has no crit, it has no resist. It just has four decent like crit damage and recovery is actually shitty substats. Just it's just a conviction gem with defense and HP. And it's an attack conviction gem, so I, I might as well sell it. It's actually not too good. This is this is how you sort your gems. This one has four shitty substats. It has one resist, but it's a it's a protection gem on defense percent. I want to power this up to plus three. If it gives me another flat stat, if it gives me something like crit rate or HP or even attack, I think I, I might keep this because attack actually could be useful as well. Um, but it gives me another flat stat. I'm selling it. Yeah, it gave me crit rate, so it has like it's a 50-50%. It's, it's a this is a, another 50-50 gem, so it's like it can it has two substats that are bad and two substats are really good. But it's also a protection um, defense percent gem, so I'm, I'm I'm just gonna keep it for that purpose. If it can roll into like resist one more time, um, then it's actually pretty good. If I can get like out of th out of the next three rolls, if I can get two of them to go into either resist or crit rate, it's actually a pretty good gem. That's actually pretty hard. This is a pugilist attack gem. I kept it because of the crit rate, but it's I don't know for some weird reason all my siphon and pugilist gems, the crit rate rolls are all the lowest rolls. They're all like six point five or six or something. Can I go into six? I think six point five is lowest. It's all it's all six point five, so it's like kind of shitty. Um. This one's another attack pugilist with crit rate, so I decided to keep it. Siphon flat attack, use it use it to fill a slot. Uh, There's another leech gem. This one's a attack percent siphon, but it's it's like it has like the shittiest substats. But I'm still using it anyways because because it's an attack percent siphon. Now this one is a tenacity gem. It's like basically for a broken set. Um, there's only one way I would I would power up this gem, and it's if it spawns resist on the last substat because this this is an attack gem with crit rate crit damage uh, it has seven percent crit rate so it's actually pretty high but I'd, I'd really only use this if it gives me like resist or something it gives me something like flat attack i'm i'm selling it this is just how i go through cleaning up my gems um can't remember where we are another gem of intuition. I have no idea why the fuck did I keep this gem. Yeah, what the fuck is this gem? Like, what? why does it exist? <laughs> that had like the shittiest substats ever. There's another defense intuition. Um, decided to keep it because of that. But the thing is, like, if it doesn't give me something good... Well, to, to be honest, like, if you, if you do the math... Not all intuition gems. Intuition gems actually are the gems that don't need crit the most. Because if you think about it, um, you you get 54% from a six star crit rate gem, and then you get ten, you plus you add 10% on top of that because the base crit. So you start with 64, and then plus the intuition that's already 84%. So basically, you only need 16% crit um, somehow. So if you can get a gem that has like uh, you know two perfect crit rate rolls, then that's 15% and then you'll have 99% crit. Um, if you can get a gem that has like one crit rate and then two gems that roll twice into crit rate, then that's, that's uh, you know, that's 100% crit uh, for sure. It doesn't matter. If, even if you get the lowest roll possible, that's 100% crit because 60, it's like, I think 6.5 is the lowest. So if you times three, that's 19.5. Uh, so that's, that's goes over 16%. Um, or if you get another crit rate gem that has three rolls into crit, then you automatically have, you know, 100% crit basically. So not all the not all intuition gems need need to have crit, um, or even just one crit rate substack makes an intuition gem like that much better to to fill up a slot to make sure you get that 100% crit. I don't like this. I, I don't like this gem. It has three flat stats. It's it's going bye bye. Um, damn, this is like fucking deja vu. It's like the same, same freaking gem. I mean, that gem could have turned out like to be godly. Like it could have rolled into resist so many times, 
But the other subsets are too shitty that I don't I didn't really wanna wanna take a risk or anything like that. Hmm. It's a super defensive gem. It's got HP. It's it's a defense gem with resist. It's got HP defense and HPs. It's actually pretty good. But the it's too bad the HP is a low roll. It's only four percent. Hmm. So the gem of protection. Um basically kept it because it's a protection defense. So you can actually use this on but I'm I'm actually getting to the point where I don't really need to keep these like mediocre gems. Just because it's gem of protection with three three non-flat substats doesn't mean it's automatic keep. Um, I think the only only way I would keep this if it spawns resist. Cause I'm I'm getting to that point. Like there's there's no point in me keeping mediocre gems anymore. It's a flat defense. Hmm. It's the point of stacking uh, there's no point in stacking that much defense anyways. Let's go bye bye. Um, I think I kept this gem because it has crit rate and resist. I'm planning to use this on a broken set because it has a high roll on crit rate. It has 7.5. So basically, I just power this up to plus 6, see if it rolls into crit rate on the plus 6. If it doesn't, then automatic sell, basically. You gotta have some, some gold. Like You gotta invest some gold in trying to, trying to find some good gems because of the, how the upgrade system works. You have to spawn a substat it has to get to four substats and then out of the four substats it has to roll into like you have a 25 percent chance for it to roll into the one you want and if it doesn't then that's why it's so hard to get a, like a hundred percent um crit you know crit monster if this doesn't go into crit rate i i just sell it basically yeah figured it wouldn't Sad man, sad. All right, uh, what else we got? Protection and crit rate. Why do I keep this? Oh, because it has resist. That's why I kept it. It's another crit rate intuition. It has two really shitty subsets, but um, I like intuition crit rate gems because most most of the time, if you use intuition crit rate, you only need to get two rolls into crit, and you'll be able to push like near 100%. Even if it's not 100, it'll be like 98. Um, and unless those monsters are for dragons or for arena offense, you don't need 100% crit, basically. Like 98 will be good. 98 to 99 will be good. Um, Alright, so this is a... Why do I keep this gem? It only has two substats. I've actually been only keeping substats, gems that have three substats. Um, that's why you see all my gems, like, the moment I click into them, they all have three substats. Anything that's two substat is basically automatic sell for me. Because even if it rolls into two really good substats, it, it, uh, it can't get to, like, you know, the rolls I want. Like, it won't have enough stats as a gem. It's just inferior in every way to, to gems that have three or four substats. I mean, it can have a perfect roll. It can like spawn the two substats that you just need, and then roll twice into it. But that the rate, the chances of that happening is really, really low. And even if it rolls twice into the substat you want, um, the other substats are going to be inferior to to a gem that has three substats. You know. So one, it has a lower chance to get you what you want. Two, the end result will always be inferior to a, a gem that has three substats. That's why. It, after you get to a certain point, um, gems with two substats is just automatic sell. Alright, uh, it's a good gem, it's a good gem. It's a crit rate, ruin. I think we went through all this. Pretty sure we went. What, what, the, what the fuck is this? Wait, why the fuck? Wait, that is, that, that's not right. Why do you exist? It was a 3 subset gem, it had crit rate. The defense gem. 
I don't know why I kept it. I should I should actually sell it. This gem's not a not a good gem. Um This one has resist. And then we keep going down to older and an older gems. I should probably sort my gems by like the type instead of by the order that I got the gems. But I guess it's fine like this. These are all crit rate. Uh, this one's an attack gem. Gem of life attack it has resist and defense and crit damage. I think it, it might only be good if it has crit rate. I'll power this up. This is probably won't be going on a full gem of life unit. But if it gives me like crit rate, then this is a good gem. If it doesn't give me crit rate, then it's kind of useless. Yeah, it gave me flat attack. We're, we're gonna have to sell it. Sad. Uh, why do I keep this crit rate gem? It's too subset. I think this was a gem I got earlier. It it has resist, but you know it also has flat recovery. It's only two substats as well, so I'm gonna have to get rid of you. Um, Gem of Life has four substats. It also has HP. Also has crit rate. I think this might be pretty good on on an HP aggressor. I was thinking like PVE based HP aggressor. You can't really use it for PVP because it has no resist. It's a defense. Um, two shitty substats. Basically, I should have sold this. I don't know why I still have that gem. I think some of these are just really old gems that I never sold that I should should have. There, actually, I've been keeping some two substat HP, uh, two substat Valor and Ruin gems to try to try to get the power up. Um, but I think it's too expensive. I really don't have to, too much gold to do this, so I, I think I'm just gonna sell it. Same, same with this one. It's not very good. This one has three substats. That's 6.5, I think. I think that might be, might be usable. This one has resist, this has resist. It's just a flat siphon that I use to fill a slot in case I need to in the future. Um, what the fuck is... Oh wait, it has... This attack, it has crit rate and resist on a protection. I think it's not too bad. I might use it. I probably won't. But I'll keep it just in case. It has 9% 9, 9 resist roll. It's an HP with attack, crit rate, and crit damage. So I think this is actually a pretty good Valor gem. Um, I've been keeping most of my leech, even if they're super shitty. Wait, what the fuck is this flat leech? Alright, we're getting rid of you. Um, I should start selling all my flat leech and pugilist. Yeah, I don't keep flat leech and pug pugilist, but I do keep flat siphons. Mostly only attack ones, but um, some defense and HP ones to, if they have like decent substats. I think I've been keeping them. I've also been keeping the crit damage ones. There's probably not that much point if I can't get crit rate, but I mean I might be able to push crit rate pretty high. So I, I'll, I'll keep it just in case. Because siphon gems are probably the most valuable things in the world. Um, another a conviction attack gem with resist. No crit rate though. Sad. It's crit rate intuition gem. I do kind of want to keep it just because it's an it's a intuition crit rate. I'll, I'll see what the three... The plus three spawns. If it spawns like a really good one, like a uh, crit damage or attack, I'll I'll keep it. But if it spawns something shitty, I'm I'm just sell it. Like if, if it gives me HP, I'm just gonna sell it. Ooh. Ooh, let's get this to plus six. I want to see what what it gives. Like if it gives, it's it's a seven point five roll as well. That's why I kind of kind of wanted to keep it. If it gives me like crit damage. It actually might be a really good. Pretty good uh, nuker gem. 7.5 defense, alright, this is a good gem. I mean, it's it's mostly for like, uh, random nukers and stuff. It has no resist, but it's fine. It's only for PvE. It's a decent leech gem, not too bad. This one has resist as well. 
This one's 9% resist, has crit rate. It's an HP percent. I, I might actually make an exception for this gem because it's an HP percent gem with two, like, you know, the best substats basically. It has a high roll for resist, that's 9%. So I'll make an exception for you. This one's a three substat gem, it has one crit rate. Um, there's a very easy way to find out if, if this gem's a keeper. You get this to plus six. If it goes into crit rate, you keep. If it doesn't go into crit rate, you sell. Because I'm only looking for that one substat. It doesn't matter if it goes into crit damage or anything like that. If it doesn't go into crit rate, it's not worth keeping. Because I'm trying to push like... Actually, wait. It's probably going to cuck me though. You get two more rolls, and if it ro can roll twice into crit rate, then you, it's very easy for you to put together a, a Valor set with with max crit, um, with one slot HP. The problem is you need to roll it. You need need it to roll into this twice, and it needs to be t like pretty high rolls. I don't know. I almost want to keep. I almost want to try it, like because it gave me crit damage and rolled into crit damage once. Right, it's, this is g probably going to be a waste of gold, but we're, we're going to get this to plus 12. And uh, if it goes into crit rate, then... Like, we basically need two perfect rolls in order for this gem to be good. It's going to cuck me at the plus 12, I swear. It's going to, like, roll into crit rate once, and I'm going to be like, Oh, shit. This is awesome. And at the plus 12, it's not going to go into crit rate. It's going to, like, go into something else. Or maybe it just cucks me right now, and then we can just sell it, and and uh, and that'll be that. Come on, man! I'm desperate. I wanna, I wanna try. Okay, it fucked me. I knew it. Should just sold that gem immediately. Um. It's the same thing with this gem. It's so hard. We're gonna do the same thing with this gem. We'll see what the plus three spawns. Maybe it'll give me resist. Okay, give me HP. It's actually not too bad. Plus six is gonna cuck me, isn't it? Come on, crit. Alright, this time if it doesn't go into crit, I'm selling it. Give me your low roll as well. Definitely selling you. Uh, sad, man. That was a sad gem. Hmm. It's a crit rate valor gem. But both of these have like the shittiest substats in the world. But I'm, I'm actually short on crit rate valor ones, so I'm actually going to keep them. I don't have too many crit rate valor gems. This one I kept because it had, it, it had resist. It went and rolled into attack once and rolled into crit rate once. Um, if it rolls into crit rate again, it's actually not too bad. Actually, twelve point five. It's hard to get a hundred percent crit with this because you need a high roll on your your two substat gem. Because if you have if you're trying to make a hundred percent crit rate nuker. Um, with bro a broken set, you need s you basically get 64%. So you need to somehow push 30, 36% crit. Um, and if you can get three rolls that are like decently high rolls, you might be able to get like if you get the highest roll, you get you can get 21.5% crit on a gem with three three crit rolls, um, which basically means you have to get at least. Uh, Wait, what was it? Yeah, you need to get 14.5%. So you need basically a gem with the highest roll, or a roll that is, uh, or like you can only get one highest roll, which is 7.5, and the other roll needs to either be 7 or 7.5 in order to get 100% crit on a broken set. Maybe we should. Get this to plus 12, see if it goes into crit rate again. 
probably gonna cuck me and just go into that this flat attack, and then I'm gonna just rage, rage sell this gem, rage sell this plus twelve gem. Actually, I'll keep it. I'll I'll put this on like some, some Titan Mon. I basically only power for the best gems, but if I these um, if these accidents happen, then I just put them on my Titan monsters. They become throwaway gems. Failed products. They become failure gems. I'm gonna put them on my Titan monsters. Come on, man. Give me crit rate. Crit rate to make this gem perfect. It's kind of the only way this gem becomes usable if, I, if it has crit rate. If it doesn't have crit rate, even if it rolls into attack, it's still only going to be a, a gem for, for Titan monsters, I think. It's actually pretty good. It's a pretty good gem. We'll, we'll keep it. We'll put it on some, some Titan Mon. A little bit sad, though. I think I kept this because it was an intuition crit gem, but I... I don't know. It can it can easily be good. That's why I like intuition sets, because... Um, if it spawns crit rate at either the plus 3 or the plus 6, this gem instantly becomes usable, no matter how shitty the other substats are. Because you can easily push 100% crit. Um, doing this. It becomes a gem that's easy for you to get reach 100% crit, but if it doesn't give me give me a uh, crit rate on the on the plus 6, then I'm, I'm gonna have to sell it because it just becomes shit. Just becomes absolute garbage. Some of these are very old gems that I kept for, from a long time ago. Mm. I'm not gonna bother with this one. This is a defense. It has resist crit, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make an exception for the, this gem. This is an intuition gem with uh, with crit rate, so we're gonna have to make an exception for that one as well. These are all crit rate ruin gems. Can't sell these. This one has resist attack. Is it has HP? I think it's a decent gem. This one has. It really only has two good substats. A crit rate gem as well. I actually might sell this. It actually has no, no real use now that I think about it. It's another attack gem with resist. Uh, this thing has 13% resist. It rolled into resist once already, at the plus three. So yeah, it's 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 a pretty good gem for a broken set. This one's kind of in the, in the same situation as well. It's a crit rate gem with attack, resist, HP, so it's it's actually pretty good. Um, it's a defense gem for Valor. Has nine percent resist. I think it might be for a broken set. I'm not too sure if it if it spawns crit rate, I'll keep it. If it doesn't spawn crit rate, I think it's actually not not really usable because the other two substats are actually really shitty. Give me attack. All right, we're, we're we're gonna have to get rid of you. What's this? All right, we're getting rid of you as well. Uh, we're almost at the bottom. I I think I since I sort them by recent, you can see like the further down I go, the more like two subset gems there are. Cause I was more lenient back back in the day, but nowadays it's like, if it's not perfect. I have to sell it. Same with this, like, it's a Vitality Gem with defense percent. It has 9% resist, but these two are like super, super shitty substats, so there's no, e no even no point in this being a 3-star three, three or 3 substat gem. It's just, uh, just, I'm just gonna have to sell it. We have some of these old gems. This, this thing has 20% crit rate. I think it's not too bad. Um, so the leech gem that I got very very early from dragons. It's another 
yeah, this this one, this one I kept a long time ago because you know it was a, I, I was like, oh, it's defense percent protection, but nowadays it's like, you know, it's pretty shitty. Tenacity gem, I, I kept this because it was a four substat gem. It has resist crit rate, but the other two seriously aren't that aren't too good. But it actually might be pretty good because it's a uh, HP gems and with flat HP, so it actually could be could be very very good. That one's not not a good gem. This one's also a very very bad gem. Um, this one's actually quite a bad gem, but I can actually just throw it on some random Titan Mon. This one is actually not a good gem. Actually, it could be. I'm not. I'm not too sure because I can do like one slot HP has 90% resist. We'll see what this, what the plus three power is up into. If it gives me like crit. I think only crit. If it gives me anything else, or maybe a defense percent could be really good as well. It gave me crit damage. We're selling it. Uh, sad. Yeah, some of these old gems are really, really bad. So I had to plus six to get this nine percent defense. But the other three substats are actually pretty bad. Although, since it's a gem of life with. Actually, no, the substats are too shitty. Don't want to use it. Ooh, it's another Valor gem, but it has, like, the shittiest substats ever as well. Never know, it can, it can roll into crit damage four times. Okay. There goes all my shitty gems. And that is, uh, that is a full gem clear of my inventory. I still have two million gold left, so... We can power up some, a few more gems, uh, a few more uh, gems that I've been meaning to power up. The ones that I think maybe deserve to be powered up, no matter what. Or maybe I can just save that, save my money to power up this gem all the way to max. Damn it! This recovery was like, I don't know what what else could it be. Attack? Actually, no. Attack's not even that good. Um. Yeah, crit damage probably. Crit damage probably would have been the best for this slot, but it's it's like it doesn't even matter because it's a defense gem with crit rate HP. It already has resist, and it went into resist like three times. That's definitely the prize for, prize of today. I think I have some leech gems on some of these units um, that I actually want to power up. But th these ones are already all plus 12. Wait, where's my Verde? I think she has some gems that aren't powered up to max. Oh, she's right beside my Indra. Nope, but these, these gems are plus 12 as well. Attack, uh, HP, defense. With a little bit of crit rate, it's not too bad. He's he's mostly on crit rate, but I think he he has better stats. If I can get him to like Evo three, um, he, since he's a Nat five, he's gonna have like much much better stats than other courageous strike monsters. So I think I can afford to just put one HP gem on him. All right, I think I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm gonna probably gonna use my gold to plus like f take some gems from plus twelve to plus uh yeah to to plus sixteen. So we're going to remove this one actually, we're going to actually unequip this one. We're going to put in this uh, this resist one. So I sacrificed a little bit of crit, but she now has 71% resist on a pugilist set. This can be disgusting. This one's actually pretty sick as well. It's got crit rate, pretty high crit rate. Anyways, uh, that is pretty much it. That is that is it for today. I'm gonna use all my gold to power up this gem to plus 15, and then we'll we'll see her in defense. You guys will see her in defense very soon. If you find me in the arena, you can hit me and see what happens. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and 
hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It's basically just a gem gem clear, gem cleanup, plus some upgrading. Now I know the ritual to, to stopping Tina from fucking up your gems. You need you need to combine your strength together with other people. You need to you need someone to hold your hand while you while you power up your gems, and that's that's how it works. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.